to Iran now, where votes are still being counted from yesterday's parliamentary elections. As Elizabeth Palmer reports from Tehran, it was a battle between two political extremes with no place for would-be reformers. This election was a contest between one faction of hardline conservatives backed by Iran's supreme leader and another backed by President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. It wasn't a radical choice, but some voters were perfectly happy with it. Others, disgusted that hundreds of reform candidates had been disqualified, stayed well away. The boycott worried the regime's leaders as they needed a strong showing to legitimize their anti-Western policies, and apparently they got it. Although there is no way to independently verify the claim, the regime says more than 60% of eligible voters in Iran did cast a ballot. On the northern edge of Tehran, where a cable car runs up to the local ski hill, the middle classes come to take a break. In the past, many of these people, totally disenchanted with their leaders, would have had nothing to do with an election. But this time, with Israel talking about a military strike and harsh U.S. sanctions starting to bite, some said it was different. When there are pressures from outside, said Mohammad Reza, we have to come together even if we're against the government. A resolution with the West to Iran's dangerous standoff over its nuclear program looked remote before this election. Now, with religious hardliners looking set to dominate the parliament, it looks virtually impossible. Elizabeth Palmer in Tehran tonight. Thank you.